New at 6.30, we are just five days away from the college football season kicking off in our region as the Washington State Cougars are finishing up preparation for a big road game to start their 2023 campaign. Our Alex Crescenti has more from Pullman. After a month of training camp, we have finally arrived to game week in Pullman as the Washington State Cougars get ready to kick off their season against the Colorado State Rams. And if you remember a year ago, this was the breakout matchup for Washington State. They blew out the Rams 38 to 7 inside Martin Stadium. But the coaches know you can't approach the game the same way you did in 2022. The rosters are different. The coaches are different. The location is different. And if the Cougs want to get off to a fast start, they need to be ready. I think they do a good job on both sides of the ball, and, and I expect them to take a, uh, a step forward. Now it's what we can control, our effort, our execution, how we go about and attack our mindset, traveling to a tough place to play that I've seen many times before, and they're going to be better offensively. I mean, they got 11 new scholarship offensive linemen. So scouting them is very difficult, you know, so you focus on here's the core of what they do. They will make adjustments that we're not ready and prepared for. Our rules and principles of defense and offense have to hold strong, and we got to be more energized and play harder than them. Of course, this will mark the beginning of the end for two Cougar greats on the defensive line, RJ Stone and Brennan Jackson. Of course, they've been here for six seasons now as we were able to catch up with them during training camp and they reflected on their time in Pullman. I think for me, my whole conversation with my family was um, rooted in, you know, first off, why'd you come here? Right? Did you come here to play just for a few years and bounce, uh, go somewhere else? No. When I committed to Washington State, I was, I was coming here for a reason. Ultimately, we, we came down and believed that me coming back here and finishing out here was the best plan for me. And, uh, you know, not to say that there weren't other things that tried to sway me in other directions, but ultimately I'm super glad I came back. You know, I, I made that decision to come back here. Um, and I wanted to be back here. And we'll have more from Brennan and RJ tomorrow night as we dive into name, image, and likeness and how Washington State is keeping up on the national level. For now, reporting in Pullman, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports.